Hello everyone, my name is Dr. April Spencer. I'm a board certified surgeon and the owner and founder of Dr. Spencer's Global Breast Health and Wellness Center. Now today I want to briefly just explain a question that a lot of my patients have presented to me lately during the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is what do I do if I get a vaccine, whether it's dose one, two or the booster and I get swollen lymph nodes. The reason why I get this question a lot is because I am a breast surgical specialist. Many of my patients don't have breast cancer, but a lot of them do, some of which have never been diagnosed with breast cancer. So they are usually very uh, vigilant about checking not only their breasts, but underneath the arm. And then I have a group of patients that have never had breast cancer, which is the majority of many of the patients that I see, and they've gotten a vaccine like many of you all, the COVID-19 vaccine and or the booster and they noticed that they had swelling underneath the arm. Typically, it's on the same side that they received the vaccine. Now, according to the our research and what we've known about the immune response for many, many years, it is a normal part of a side effect of a vaccine, particularly vaccines where the injection is in the upper extremity or the arm. The nearest nodal basin is underneath the arm, uh, scientifically called the axilla. So when they're swelling underneath the arm or the axilla is usually on the same side as the vaccine site. Why does this happen? This happens because the body is doing what it's supposed to do, which is the intention of the vaccine, which is to mount an immune response. Swelling of lymph nodes is no different than your lymph node swelling after or during a, um, a cold virus, um, having a sore throat or upper respiratory infection. Our body is so amazingly designed in the way that it functions is that it mounts a remune, an immune response in the nodal basin that's closest to where the infection or activity um, has started. So for example, if you have a sore throat or upper respiratory infection, sometimes the lymph nodes along the neck will swell. Similarly, if you have a vaccine and it's in either arm, but usually the lymph nodes underneath the arm or the axilla will swell because those lymph nodes are closest to the area in which you receive the vaccine. Again, the vaccine is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. You can find more information about this on the CDC website, but again, in the surgical and scientific community, we are very familiar with how the immune response work and I felt it important that I share that with, uh, with you all. Now, how does this relate to the timing of a mammogram? So in timing of a mammogram, it's extremely important that you try to get your mammogram before, again, you want to make sure you get your mammogram on schedule, <laughs> get your mammogram on schedule. But if you get uh, your mammogram, make sure it's before any uh, vaccinations, whether it's dose one, two, or the booster. And if you have to have your uh, vaccine done after your mammogram, usually um, four to six weeks is a delay that we oftentimes will see in terms of any swelling of the lymph nodes. We call it lymphadenopathy. It usually will either happen right away or a few weeks, but we usually advise patients to get the mammogram if you have to wait four to six weeks after the vaccine. Again, our recommendation is to wait four to six weeks after the vaccine. And we don't wanna have any delays, especially if you have a new breast concern or a family history of breast cancer, or you yourself have had breast cancer, your uh, screening mammogram or your diagnostic mammogram takes priority, but you just have to be mindful of the timing. And so again, in regards to timing, if you have to indeed get that mammogram around the time you get your vaccine, it's important to make sure that you get your mammogram uh, right away on on schedule, um, right away if you have a concern, and then you'll wait um, four to six weeks before you get the vaccine so that there isn't any uh, findings on a mammogram that can mimic uh, concerns in the breast that may mimic a breast cancer recurrence or an occurrence of breast cancer, uh, simply because sometimes swollen lymph nodes can represent a, um, a sign of uh, breast cancer or a local regional spread of breast cancer, advanced breast cancer. So you wanna make sure that your doctors are clear on what's going on and you wanna be clear on what's going on. Um, so I'm hoping this is helpful. 
So next question, what do you do if your lymph nodes are swollen? You've gotten your um, mammogram after your vaccine, and I have lots of patients where they had a the COVID-19 vaccine or the booster, and they developed sw swollen lymph nodes either around the time of the mammogram or shortly thereafter. Oftentimes it will show up as abnormal. It'll be rated a BIRAS-3, which is our rating system for mammograms, which means probably benign. The higher the score, the more suspicious the imaging findings are. Uh, the lowest score is a zero, the highest score is a six. So a three is right in the middle. Usually the recommendation is to follow up within six months. So you wanna make sure that if you get a call back, you go back during that six month period. You wanna see your primary care provider, but you certainly wanna see the radiologist, schedule your mammogram, get a repeat mammogram, and follow up with your healthcare provider so that they can uh, follow through with the results and any next step planning. It doesn't always mean there's a breast cancer there, but certainly there's a breast concern that warrants a further follow-up or surveillance within a short period of time, what we call that short-term surveillance within three to six months. What are the next steps if you have gotten a mammogram around the time of your vaccine, you have swollen lymph nodes, you're asked to wait six months, but during that six month interval, the lymph nodes get larger or your concerns grow. Make sure you seek a second opinion or just go in and see your healthcare provider and perhaps consider getting imaging sooner or going um, to your uh, breast surgeon um, or the radiologist to consider having a conversation about doing a biopsy. Usually, again, these uh, findings of swollen lymph nodes underneath the arm are again just a normal reaction to the to the vaccine but i certainly understand why many of you all are concerned those that have had breast cancer and those that have not but the main uh point is make sure you don't dismiss any changes in those lymph nodes underneath your arm if those changes happen after you've gotten your mammogram or you're on the six month interval for follow-up or surveillance again if you get a call back go back the radiologist will oftentimes go ahead and schedule that, that six month mammogram. So again, make sure you follow through, get that mammogram done within six months. However, if you have concerns <laughs> or if that area changes where the lymph node swelling becomes larger or more concerning during that six month interval, make sure you see someone before the six months. You wanna see someone right away. And usually this can be your primary care provider, your breast surgeon, your GYN, and they will be sure to point you in the right direction of having the imaging done sooner. Usually the imaging will involve two things, a repeat diagnostic mammogram, which is just additional views, and also an ultrasound of the underarm. And they'll compare the size of the uh, lymph node swelling from your original mammogram and or ultrasound to the current one. So I hope this was helpful. Again, nothing to panic about, but certainly it warrants having a discussion or conversation. Thank you for asking that question. I'm hoping this was helpful. And um, until next time, let's continue to go on a journey from our breast health to our best health. We can get through this together. And remember, early detection means better protection. But the swollen lymph nodes, not to panic, but just be proactive, be informed, be your own advocate. And again, early detection is better protection. So if there's something there, if you see something, say something, follow up and follow through. Again, until next time, thank you for joining me and helping me continue to go on this journey with you from your breast health to your best health.